Hi everyone, welcome to Mike's Classic Auto World. On today's road trip, we're going to look at a 1957 Dodge Custom Royal D500. This car is a really, really pretty shade of blue and white, two-tone with the wide white walls. Uh, it's all original, it's extremely low mileage. Um, I have uh, Tom here, Tom is the owner. Hello. Hey Tom. Tom, how many miles are on this car? Number shows about 42,000. 42,000. Which is original to the chassis. Okay. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, you have some parts on here when you uh, did your car from another very low mileage car as well, correct? Correct. correct. This, this car was a, a, a low mileage uh, original car that came from Franklin Square, New York. Okay. And. Uh, it had one option that had uh, power brakes and a radio, two yeah. options. Power brakes and a radio were the only options? Yeah, and, and, and in my travels I came across a uh, D500 that had 12,500 miles, but it was outside storage and it was rusting away to nothing. I bought that car and that car was loaded. It had power everything, power seat, power windows, it had the Hemi, it had air conditioning. Uh, oh. And uh, it was a very loaded car, rear defogger, and painstakingly over the course of uh, 10 years, we converted everything from that car to this car. And I had a lot of help along the way, experts from California and Canada who had been through this, and they were very helpful in uh, helping me get this project done. So this could be what's called a tribute car. Okay something you could have gotten from Chrysler back then but uh, it wasn't it didn't come this way from the factory but it's as close as you can get to a factory original since it's all factory. Can parts. we open the door take a look at the interior? Yeah sure. This is uh, correct me if I'm wrong is this the original material? That's the original material. So it's been redone it's just the all right, redone right. with the original. If anybody uh, knows anything about 57 Chrysler products the uh, <laughs> The materials weren't long lasting. No. My father bought a new 57 Plymouth and in three years it was pretty ragged. Look this at that car dash. survived and had no rust because the people who lived in Franklin Square, New York, they worked in Manhattan and uh, only used it as a weekend car. So it was pretty much garage top. Wow, you have power bench seat, that's gotta be rare. Look at that, look at those uh, controls. And I noticed push button transmission. Right. Chrysler had that through 64, and 65 the federal government uh, changed its rules and it wasn't permitted. Can I sit in here just to view the dash? Sure. All right. Look at this speedometer, it's pretty neat. 43,937 miles. Yeah, that's original to the chassis. Oh, look at those gauges. The engine's been rebuilt, the transmission's been rebuilt. A lot of stuff was refurbished. Okay. Power windows, that's nice. Yep, yeah, they were transferred from the four-door hardtop. Okay, so they were added. The gentleman in Canada, he had a template to change the uh, four-door regulators to work in a two-door, so that was very helpful. And that's your heater controls there at the bottom? Yep, yeah, and that's for the air conditioning. The and air. air. Conditioning and this has air, this car. Oh, there's the vents. How about that? I did not notice that. Look at the emblem on the wheel. It's oh, a nice. power steering emblem. Power steering. Now, this car didn't come with power steering. We took it from the other car. Wow, so you've actually done a lot of work, added a lot of options to this yeah. car. Can we pop the hood? Sure. Now this has uh, the baby Hemi. Yes. This is a 325 Hemi. This is the biggest that Dodge got to. Okay. Dodge started out as a 241 Hemi in 1953. Okay. And uh, it graduated, gradually made it up to uh, 325. I think it was a 56 or a 315. And I, you know, I think there was an intermediary between, I think it might have been a 270. And these are, went to a 315. These are two four barrel carbs? They are. So you got the way they have the air breathers uh, mounted on either well, side. That is one of the hardest things to find, the right air breather. They're the same as a DeSoto Adventure. 
and that's what led me to, to go for the dual five, you know, the, the Super D500 version because I was able to find the air cleaners. Okay. And as luck would have it, the, the manifold is still in production. It's an Offenheiser uh, aluminum manifold. Okay. So you can still get them. They use that in Speed Week on the, the, the salt flats in, in Bonneville. So this is the correct setup for 57 D500? And it's Super D. Super D, okay. The bulk of the cars in Dodge came with a single four barrel. Okay. Whereas the Plymouth Fury came with dual quads, the DeSoto Adventurer came with dual quads, the Chrysler 300 came with dual quads. It's got that emblem. That's the original emblem from the original car. That did not have to be redone. That's a really neat uh, grill and bumper set up there. Very unique. Something that always draws me into this car is the taillights. Can we look at the back? Maybe pop the trunk? The taillights are so unique. Look at that two-tone. How neat that two-tone is over here. That is so cool. They, say they became cool in the trade. They became Lancers. Because of the, uh... Really? So a lot of them call a Lancer to a hard top, but the Lancer Keith carries to the, to the wheel covers. Oh, that's the Lancer? Yeah. Okay, wheel covers. Very nice. I love the tail lights and the two-tone. And I know it has a gigantic... Oh, let me look at this emblem before we lift it. That, that, that signifies that it's more, the performance version of the D500. Beautiful. Now they had one that was up above this called a, a D501. And what that was, that was a Chrysler 354 Hemi. Okay. But they were mostly made for racing and there might be 50 of them or 60 of them. So it, uh, the number is kind of debatable how many they made. I'm looking at your exhaust tips. Are they unique to the D500? Yeah, they are. they're unique to the Dodge. To the they, Dodge? Uh, yeah. They, are they D500 uh, no, no, they, only? They, no. They would be on any Dodge that had to be a. Okay. Well, they're very cool. Yeah. Almost looks like it has a baffle in there. They, they, they do. Are they baffles? And actually, yeah. these are repo. I have I have a set of originals. Do you? But the originals cost an arm and a leg, so I took them off and put the cheaper. Uh, I don't blame you. If you're going to drive it, I don't yeah. blame you. Let's let's look at the sizes. Got, this car's got the rear bumper guard. That was an option. Let's take a look in the trunk if we could. Look how big this trunk is and how clean it is. That's the original mat. Okay. It's very clean, very nicely detailed. Of course, Tom's got all his uh, show car stuff here, which we all have in our trunks. Yeah, it's all my cleaning stuff, and then this is. Uh, this is all documentation for the car. Okay. A lot of original paperwork, brochures and stuff? I do. Look at that. There you go. You put five girls in that trunk. Oh, yeah. How come we don't have five girls in there today? Well, my wife wouldn't let me. There's, oh, there there's me. I super Photoshop and put me oh, in there. <laughs> and that's my wife in the center. So. Very nice. And what are they, uh, uh, factory booklets over there? Or are they yeah, popular they, mechanics? These are, these are factory literature, uh, magazines. This is interesting. This car, Harry Truman was a Chrysler man. This car was taken in front of the Harry Truman Library. Oh, wow. But it's black and white. But this picture hangs in the Harry Truman Library in the oh, vestibule. Wow. Pretty Somebody cool. colorized the car. They used it. And they got your color on it. Yeah. I think it was my car. We're going to say it's your car. <laughs> Just between you, me, and whoever's listening right now, it was your car. Yeah. Very nice. I like those old uh, period booklets right there. Like these? Yeah. Yeah, you got, these are the... Uh, is this the one... Tom McKay, you know, they used to call him Uncle Tom. He wrote, he wrote for Mechanics Illustrated. And he would okay. Write, he would write, write up cars all the time. Okay. And, it's uh, a neat old book. Yeah, he's, he, was, he tested the, the D500, which is on. Oh, page. there's a write-up on the D500. There is. Oh, okay. So. Look at that. The Dodge D500. How about that? What's the name of the cover of that book again? So we can. This is Mechanics Illustrated. Mechanics Illustrated. 
Okay. Uh, Tom McCahill wrote for I that. I guess it's 57, 58? Yeah, this is a uh, April 57. April 57. And the other one looks like Popular Mechanics? Uh, this, yeah, that one is Popular Mechanics. Very nice. I guess there's a write-up in Popular Mechanics as well. Yeah, it would be. I see the uh, Dodge right there on the cover. Yeah, yeah well, no, it's, this, the is a, this is the uh, annual introduction of where, you know, oh. these are all these have a new car parade. Cars. Right. Okay. Very nice, Tom. It's nice to see period pieces with the car that help uh, represent the car. Well, all my cars, I have a habit. Buying period pieces, period stuff. everything. Uh, this is the uh, this is the article that I reference. Okay. It's a lot of info in that book. Yeah, there is. I pretty well document it. This is the Chrysler Annual Report, which has the 57 cars in it. Okay. This is the factory photo. Now, you were mentioning to me before this was in Hemmings. Hemmings did a write-up on this car? That's what this is. Okay. It's Hemmings Online. Hemmings Online. Right. So and what should we Google to find that? If you go uh, a Hemmings, a Dodge, a Dodge Custom Royal Lancer finds its way home. Like okay, Kirkland's. that's the name of the article? Right. Google that in Hemmings and you'll find much more information on this particular car. It's a fabulous right. car. It's a gorgeous car. Love the color, the design. And uh, everything you need to know about this car is in that article. That's a fair statement. And these are mo just a lot of sales literature. This is a Super D500 engine. Okay. Okay. Give you some specs on it? It give you all the specs there. Pretty cool. Very distinctive looking with those air breathers. Yeah. Totally Mopar. And then this is actually... It, this Super D is in uh, a drag racer. I can't think of his name now. He has the museum. In, uh, museum? Oh, Don down Garlitz. in Florida. Don Garlitz. Down in Florida, I yeah. believe. Don Garlitz Museum. And he's got that on a stand. Very nice. And this is his specs for the Dodge D, D500. And this is just more, this is the options. Yeah. And just some more information on the car, yeah. the motor. Well, Tom, I'm going to do one more walk around. I love the styling of this car. All right, here's the color. It's called Velvet Blue Iridescent. Velvet Blue Iridescent. With just a standard white or? Yeah, they only had one white. Glacier, glacier white? white. Yep. Velvet Blue Iridescent with Glacier White. Yep. That's the color of this car. Folks, tell me what you think of this car. I absolutely love the color, the style, the, the taillights, everything about this car. If you agree, if you like this car, um, like the video, definitely leave your comments below. Uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, let me know what you think. Tom, thank you very much for showing us your car.